The Circuit of the Americas in Texas was the location for round 10 of the Rallycross World Championship. Series leader Johan Christofferson invited us into his paddock before the final part of qualifying. Before the Q3, you know, we have a strategy meeting. We try to see what can happen, look a little bit into the future. Even if you have five plans, there's going to be the sixth one that's going to appear. So it's always very difficult to plan. But um, apart from that, I'm just trying to focus and uh, make the launch correct because that's the most important. And from there on, you just have to take everything on volley. So uh, that's what I will do today as well. Team meetings are a chance for everyone to understand how the drivers are feeling out on the track and to openly discuss any changes to the car. So here's a little bit worse. Yeah. Very, very moving around yeah. a lot, and I mean really laying. Difficult to rotate. Yeah. Breaking here was way too cautious because yeah. the grip is it's quite high. The grip. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than I expected. Yeah. yeah. And uh, around four, uh, it's quite it's quite slippery there. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, it's being polluted from dragging the mud here. Yeah. And, and that's the worst corner for me also. Yeah. When you're coming yeah. in, it back and goes a little bit, go back on throttle, it small slips a little bit yes. that it doesn't catch it. Yeah. Johan Christofferson has been in outstanding form this year, winning all but one event. The 29-year-old Swede was aiming to secure the 2018 world title here in Texas, as his father, who's part of his team, explained to us. We are hunting the big trophy. That means that not only the single race, for us it's more important to score the points that we can secure the title. So that might be a little bit different strategy this weekend than uh, all the other weekend when we are most focused to score as many points as possible. Now we try to secure our 17 points, which will uh, mean that we can bring the title home, which uh, is something really extra. So it's nice to be on a spotter because we are friends at the spotter, but we are also competitors. But there is a good atmosphere and um, it's nice to be there. You can feel the, you can feel the atmosphere, that's something going on on the track. You can see the eyes and the people that are quite concentrated. And uh, they all show up some happy faces, but there is also something nervous in their, in their eyes. Now he was wondering if it may be better to go behind Tete because it get quite a big gap from the other two. It was direct 3.5 seconds. Yeah. And you need 2.4, so I mean, it's yeah. so he was wondering maybe you go. So he said that if he's not sure that he have the the first priority to the Joker, yeah. then he will follow Petter. Okay. If he thinks that he have to fight with uh, somebody else from outside in the Joker, then he don't take the fight and he break it's and to he do go. it in the second exactly. lap. Or exactly. Yeah. Oh, backwards left on the lines of backwards storm. Kevin Hansen going to shut the door. Chris Johnson, Chris Johnson's going to go on the brakes. I think follow him uh, in to follow his teammate to the standard lap. Christopherson on the brakes down into turn two, so Ronald's on the inside, Christopherson trying to carry it around. Ronald now having a look up the inside of Petter Solberg, Christopherson's on the inside down towards the braking zone and finally decides to slot in. Drivers must take a longer route, known as a joker lap, once during the race. Finnish driver Marcus Kronholm took his joker on the second lap, leaving Johan and his teammate Petter Solberg to take the lead and cruise to a 1-2 finish. However, Johan was still short of the magic 17 points he needed for the world title, but he was optimistic that he'd soon get the required points. I didn't have the best launch, so I decided to, to stay behind Petter, and then Grönholm had a great launch, so coming from the outside and uh, overtook me, so felt very, very strong on the track, and uh, that's a good feeling going into Q4, and hopefully a better launch and uh, maybe 50 points. The Rallycross World Championship was making its debut at this circuit in the Texan state capital, Austin. Johan and his team were still getting to grips with the particular challenges of this track ahead of Q4. Launch on this track is very important, of course, because it's very difficult to overtake and uh, it's so quick into the first corner that you have to have different ideas what's going to happen, how you should handle the first corner, because you have the joker lap straight in first corner and then you have to make very quick decision and you have to know between our two drivers what the other is planned to do so that they can follow or do the opposite way. So that's why we have this strategy meeting. Three 
green light. Good start by Solberg. And Christophson in the middle of the grip. But Ekstrom's up the inside of both of them. Ekstrom's surely going to hold on for turn one. Christophson trying to go around towards the Joker lap. Shishrit having a look up the inside. Shishrit's managed to get past Sebastian Loeb. But Christophson leads the three cars that have gone Joker. Get the wheel open. Solberg goes Joker. This is to try and cover off the guys. Joker already. Christophson's going to get him. Solberg isn't going to do anything silly there. She's around to look up the inside. And Ekstrom's gone Joker. Watching for Christophson on the inside now. Will there be contact between them? Ekstrom's going to try, but Christophson's going to shut the door. Ekstrom has to look up the inside. Christophson is aware of that. Good drive by Johan. Checkered flag falls. Crosses the line ahead of extra. First place in Q4 and a good qualifying grid position for the semi finals had Johan smiling. And with the car in the paddock, it was time for the mechanics to fine tune the Volkswagen for potentially two more races. We finished Q1, 2, 3, and 4. So now we're just preparing the cars to get ready for semi final and final. We're quite lucky this race so far. It's been quite smooth and uh, not too much damage on the car. So we've done a spanner check, suspension, and um, we're just cleaning them up and uh, waiting for the engineers and drivers to decide on, the, on the, some setup changes. So the tight, tightest time schedule we have is probably between um, semi final and final, which in some case can be just five minutes. So the most important at that point is to get fuel and if we have time to do some Spanish check, we do it. Johan is now in his fifth year of rallycross. He won last year's world title for the first time with seven wins out of 12. And he's already won more races this season. For the championship, I need the fifth position, but it's not my aim. The pace of the car is really good, so I have a good launch. I will try to go straight for the Joker lap and, and Hopefully get some free air and, I mean, we'll see. Uh, I'm, uh, attack is the best defense. This is where I like to be. Uh, the waiting before, of course, is a little bit boring, but uh, you get to speak to some of these morons, like Vakarud, but uh, otherwise... Like, like me? <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> otherwise, you know, it's always good fun, you know, this is... Great fun. Great fun. All time between this is only, you know, waiting. It's a, it's a long, useful, you know, words, but it's really like that. You hate it and you love it. The nerves before the semi-final, yeah. right? Especially uh, in our position. I mean, we both are in second position on the grid. It's not easy to. to I would know say in my do. position, I'm not very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all right. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> So it was soon down to business. Johan Christofferson had a world title to go and win. Green light, brilliant start. Christofferson shuts the door on Kevin Hansen behind. Kevin Hansen moves to the inside. Shisha is going to try and get the inside too. Christofferson goes Joker. Oh, Shisha in the back of Timmy Hansen. Timmy Hansen gets fired. Nearly picks on the back of Christofferson, but not quite. Look at Solberg, absolutely on a mission as he comes out. Solberg goes Joker on lap two. Kevin Hansen is going to be leading this semi-final. Kevin Hansen around the right-hander is going to come down towards the gravel hairpin. Look at Solberg. Solberg trying to get in front of Christopherson. He does. Kevin Hansen has to go now if he wants to get out in front of his brother Timmy. He goes. Kevin Hansen sideways into the Joker lap, round the outside. This for a spot in the semi-final, but it's going to cost his brother if he makes it. Timmy versus Kevin on the brakes. Kevin slots into P4 and Timmy goes through. So Timmy is up into third place. It's not over yet. Christopherson is the current World Rally Cross champion. And he, with this lap, just a few corners to go, is going to make himself a legend in Rally Cross terms. Christopherson, as he crosses the line, is going to become the 2018 FIA World Rally Cross champion. He's a double World Rally Cross champion. Fantastic performance. Second place in the semi-final was good enough to give Johan the world title and back at his team's paddock, it was time for the celebrations to begin. Uh, very good. Uh, I mean, it's an amazing feeling. It's a little bit strange to secure it this way when it's still one race uh, to go today, but um, 
feeling is very nice, of course. And, but you know, you're still so focused and, and you want to do small changes to the car to adapt it to get even quicker for the final. Because I feel I have great speed. And uh, we are looking forward now for the final. Petter is also flying, so hopefully he can have a great launch and me too as well. And then we'll see, hopefully we can get a, in the best world, uh, two podiums. Uh, that's what we aim for. The mechanics had just 10 minutes to get Johan's car ready for the final. Meanwhile, Peter Solberg was quick to congratulate his teammate. Very, very happy for him. Yeah, I think yeah, he deserves it. He had an incredible year and uh, big uh, consistency, and uh, it's a big respect for that. And I think uh, for the team and everybody who have worked hard, you know, it's, uh, it's really good fun to be a part of it together. So could Johan sign off in style with victory in the final here in Texas? Oh, low moves across straightaway, shutting the door on backer at Ekstrom. Looks like it's going straight on down to the Joker lap. He does four cars, Joker. Four cars, Joker. Ekstrom's gone. Chris Dobberson, two. Loeb and Hansen. Hansen trying to find a way through. Chris Dobberson's got Ekstrom trying to go around the outside, but he gets out in the dirt and he can't. He wants to take the win. Solberg's got to go Joker now for me. Solberg does. He goes Joker now. Petter Solberg looking for the win. He's got to beat Chris Dobberson down to the merge if he wants to take it. Chris Dobberson with wheel spin. Solberg fully committed. On the brakes, he's got to stop it. Chris Dobson looks up the inside, but he thinks better of it. Contact. Solberg sideways as he exits the hairpin. He's got Chris Dobberson. Chris Dobberson's run of wins might end here as Solberg gets in front of him at the merge. Loving the Joker lap merge as well. Look how committed Solberg was when he came out on lap two, just desperate to Sorry, get Sorry, Alex, the as you see. Petter's run wide, Solberg's Chris Dobson. wide. Chris Dobson's gone up the inside. Solberg's made a mistake. Goes for Dan Rubin. We're looking at the merge. Then Solberg has run wide. Chris Dobson, unbelievably, has managed to get past. He came here with one job to do. He wanted to win the World Rallycross Championship for the second time. He did that in the semi-finals, and he takes victory nine out of ten here at Cota. Chris Dobson, the World Rallycross Champion. A faultless display from Johan in the final, pouncing on the mistake of his teammate to take the event win. Yes, I mean, you cannot, I cannot describe how it is. It's a marvelous feeling. It's fantastic. I mean, Johan did it again, and not not only to win uh, win the title, but also to win the last race here. It means something extra. So, I, it's, uh, I mean, this season go to the history is on something very extra. Win all the races except one is not happening in this sport. Yeah, that was something special. I mean, uh, first of all, big thanks to the team, which is making this possible for me to deliver such a good car every weekend. And then uh, felt a bit strange to secure the championship already in the semi-final uh, when there was still one race to go. But I tried to keep focus and that had a small mistake, so I can overtake and um, yeah, grab another victory. And one-two for the team is the best result of the season. So very, very good.